Walk, personality talk, personality smile, personality. I don't know the rest. And we're on. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Freddie, and uh, we're kicking off the new series, Naked Brattleboro. And we're glad you tuned in. Uh, we got a lot of good stuff for you coming up, and we're doing in-camera edits, so I can't can't mince words here. We got to get on with it. Uh, up here in the mountain, hopefully you can see, uh, we did have a, a fire the other day up on Mount Wintasiket. And uh, the green has really come out just in the last several days here. So you can actually really see where the, the mountain got scorched. It's quite a, quite a contrast there. And you can see uh, several trees uh, bought the farm as well. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll show some of the footage there of the, of the mountain on fire and what it looks like now. But really, it's really greened up just in the last... Uh, four days so it's, it's pretty amazing this uh, this cart's been here for a couple of days it was over here uh, in front of the library and um, it seems to have been abandoned and, and uh, it's starting to collect some some detritus I guess you know from the town and just dust and whatnot but uh, this cart is here and uh, I guess it's theoretically available um, should you need a card. It's sort of the, like the white bicycle principle, I suppose, where a bicycle is left for the next person who might have need for that. So there it is. So uh, this is Timmy, and uh, I'm behind the camera today. So just wanted to say hi. You're going to see mostly Freddie today, but uh, I'm here with you too. Let me know when you're ready. Hey, how's it going? Good. What's your deal? Just visit, just here with my family. Yeah. RV. Oh, really? You have an RV? Is it up, is it parked up there by the? Uh, did I just see it by the the uh, municipal building? Yep. Ah, okay, cool. Where are you from? Hillsborough, New Hampshire. Oh, okay. Well, that's not too far away. You like it here? Yeah. My brother's here, so we're gonna go see him probably. Going to school? Um, weekend. Okay. So no. Okay. Um, did you know that our mountain caught fire the other day? No, I didn't. You can't really see it from here, but right over here on the edge, it's all brown and it's scorched. It was it burned for like eight hours. Wow. Yeah, you can see it from where your uh, where your RV is. Yeah, that's true. If you go, yeah, just take a look when you're a little farther over and you can see in between the buildings. Um, so you you like our town? Have you been here before? Yep. And uh, what, what do you like to do when you're here? Mostly walk. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot to see. I mean, it's nice. Yeah. It's a nice walkable town. Especially since they have that moose festival my mom likes. The what? Moose festival. What's the moose festival? It's supposedly something they have every year. You mean the heifers? Yeah. Oh, oh. and they would take the heifers down the street. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I'd rather see mooses. I know. Well, that would be cool. If we could get enough moose together, then we could do a moose festival. I, I think people would really be up for that. Yeah. Um, they, they used to have, they had um, painted mooses in uh, Bennington a couple of years ago, where they, it was like a... Oh, I don't know, a fundraiser thing, you know, and everybody gets a, a blank moose and then you paint it up in whatever way and then they display them all over mm -hmm. town. So, yeah. So, yeah, we got the heifers coming up at the beginning of June. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Is Plus that... my birthday's at the end of this month anyway. Oh, really? Cool. Is, yep. that, is that your free uh, popcorn from Sam's right there? Yeah. Ah, you went to Sam's, all right. Yep. What else? Um, I'm going to be 17, so... That's, that's a good age. I was 17 once. My brother's going to be 18 June 6th. Nice. He was born a year before me, which is nicer. Cause I got to see him the other day. Just He popped in on last... No, just this past Wednesday, actually, to see me. Near our town, we had a... Um, what is it? A... I live in Hillsborough near Emerald Lake. Uh -huh. Merrill Road, actually, Old Hacker Road, uh -huh. and we had this one house caught fire. We actually, you can actually see the black smoke. It was so weird. It yeah. was like they, the firefighters must have got it out. It was. Probably took them a while then. Yeah. Just like this fire, we had we had firefighters from a dozen different um, companies up there, you know, and of course they had to get all the way up the mountain, all the way over here. Get a pump in and start pumping the water and everything. So it's Did quite you see a, it from down quite here? Quite an endeavor. Oh yeah. Yeah, we watched it for quite a while, and I, I taped some of it, so it's, yeah. Nice. It's pretty cool. All right, well, you enjoy your time in Brattleboro. Glad you're visiting. Glad to have you. Thank you.
We're gonna. Do we have to cross? Well, we don't have to. I'm gonna. Oh, look at that. That's a great idea. Look at that. It sits nicely. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're here at the uh, the River Garden, and uh, it's uh, you know it's getting to be summertime because there's a live music show here this evening. It's a Friday evening, and uh, Key Bank sponsors it, and we've got uh, half of the mammals, Ruth uh, Ruth Unger and uh, Michael. I can't think of what their, his last name is, but uh, they they basically constitute half of the band, the Mammals, playing here tonight. Uh, it's a free show, and they got a lot of chairs out. They're probably expecting a lot of people because uh, the mammals tend to draw a lot of uh, folk and roots fans. Um, just they're a great band, really great musicians, and uh, got some political content in there. And uh, I think it's going to be a fun show. And uh, that'll be appearing on BCTV because I see the BCTV cameras are in place and ready to go. Do you guys have a, an official moniker that you guys go by? No. The G-string triplet. All right. And where do you where do you emanate from? I just travel around. Yeah. I was born in New York, but okay. just. Did you guys just get here recently, or? T to today. Today. today? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're gonna hang out for a day or two, or whatever. Yep. And then, yeah. Go cool. make some money. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. And then head, head somewhere else. Do you know yeah. where? No. Wherever the winds blow. I guess we're going to be playing Brat Fest. It's a huge Brattleboro festival. And we'll make a lot of money. Yeah. It's weird that this is going to be on TV, but yeah. <laughs> Bring money. <laughs> Give it to us. It looks like this. No. Yeah. <laughs> it, looks, it looks really good like that. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like people are appreciating what you guys nice. are doing. Yeah. How long have you been playing here? Like in an hour, two hours? Yeah. yeah. About that. Something like that. That's great. So, uh, where was your last stop? I mean, uh, where were you before uh, this? New York. Oh. Woodstock, New York. Oh, nice. It's a cool town. Yeah, it's not bad. It's where we're from, me and him. So. How did you guys hear about Brattleboro, and what what about it made you want to come here? Uh, I heard there was a gallery walk when I was, like, 14. Yeah. That we could play and make money at, and it's, like, the first Friday every month or so. And I came and made a crap load of money, <laughs> so I've been coming back ever since. Okay. Oh, so you, you, you made the cycle every so often? Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright. So how come you didn't come on Gallery Walk Week, though? Um, I don't even know where I was. Uh, I guess that's my excuse. <laughs> Alright, cool. There's another one coming up. Next oh. one. Yeah, it won't be long. Yeah, next Friday. <laughs> it will be... Right. Bellows Falls have a, a walk? They do one, uh, yeah, they do one, but I can't remember what which week it is. So we should look into that. We're not prepared. No. Okay. Well, we can't know everything about everything. All right. Well, good thanks luck, for the have song. fun. Yeah. Enjoyed it. I thought of something else I want to ask you guys. Okay. Um, you, this sounded sort of Eastern European. What what influences you guys? What sort of where do you find this your is material? Romanian gypsy song. Okay. It's a 
We covered it from this band called Tariff to High Dukes. Uh huh. They're one of our influences. Right, cool. And is that is that sort of the style of music that you guys like the most and tend to tend towards? Yeah, Eastern European music, Gypsy, Klezmer, that kind of. Great. Well, it's really, it sounds really great. Thank you. They love his pants. Okay. Uh, how's it going? Good. 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 All right, we're here in the, the Harmony lot. We're in front of Frankie's, and uh, we're here today to ask you this question. What's your deal? My deal? Yeah. With the world? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you know, you can't just... We'll come back. Okay. Live what? your life the way it is meant to be lived. Oh, okay. nice. Where's the wisdom? Touching. Okay. Um... Just go out there and have fun and don't get hurt, but enjoy hey yourself. Guys, this is your deal. My this is deal. my deal. That was my deal. My deal. I don't know what my deal is. <laughs> okay, well, some of us are still trying to figure it out. Yeah, we're figuring oh. it out. Yeah, she okay. was at a total disadvantage because you didn't warn her. Well, I, that's part of the thing, though. I'm not going to warn people. All right, so what's your deal? My deal is that Summer's not here right now. It sounds kind of selfish, but I am irritated. Yeah. <laughs> she likes Summer yeah, a lot. All like Summer, I think. Yeah. You know? Tyler Van Backer? I can I can totally agree with that. I've been waiting for summer since you know November or whatever, so yeah. I'm looking forward to to having that back as well. So I'm solar powered. My deal, I think that my deal is that I want summer, but I don't want it to be this hot because global warming is stupid. Yeah, true. <laughs> yes. What do you guys think? What What do you think um, Brattleboro is going to be like, say, in 20 years? What What do you think the weather conditions will be like on a typical uh, yeah like on a typical May up. afternoon? I don't know. I heard somewhere that. Vermont itself is going to get colder instead of hotter, yeah. which so like, is really yeah. unfortunate because I prefer warm weather. So maybe are you still going to be here in 20 years? Yeah, but I won't be here in 20 years. So yeah, we're all going to move away. Where you, Where do you think you guys are going to go? France, Spain, Italy, France, Italy. Spain, Paris, Italy. Italy. It's going to be hot as hell over there, though. They're right on the Mediterranean. It's already hot in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Deal with it. If deal with it's it. somewhere a little more interesting than okay. here. It is yeah. beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. If right. we live in the Alps, then it'll be cooler. Yeah, we live like halfway up. <laughs> Although even the glaciers in the Alps are melting. Oh, yeah. Did you know that? That's yeah. so sad. Yeah. Yeah. All the polar bears are dying. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Oh, did you guys see the mountain fire the other day? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, yeah, I saw it was pretty intense. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. And now right, there's like a huge black spot yeah. amidst yeah. all the Well, it's, yeah, it's funny because I looked at it, you know, the day after and you could hardly tell like where exactly it was and now everything's totally greened out and it's... It's, now it's definitely pronounced, so right. yeah. I guess we're going to have a big hole there for the rest of the year. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, enjoy your, your weekend and all that. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, see ya. You're watching Naked Brattleboro. What happens when humans and machines intermingle? Welcome to the machine. He's, he's got a little guy. He's got a guy. He's got a guy. He grabbed a guy, and he's got the guy, and he's on his knees, and the guy is at his mercy. Did you see all the flowers and stuff? They got quite an. They actually have quite an arrangement there on the dashboard. I didn't want to invade privacy. But yeah. They do have nice. They're from North Carolina. Very nice. North Carolina. Perfect. Oh. He's trapped. No panel. We're, we're panel. rolling. All right, oh, we're, we're rolling. rolling. Okay. What do you got? Hey, how's it going? Wonderful. All right, so what's your deal? What's my deal? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm recently a dad. Uh, I'm a teacher. Uh, it's springtime, so I'm really enjoying the springtime deal. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not a wheeler dealer, so I don't make any deals. Um, what else? Uh, goodness gracious. I'm just... Uh, hey, Gyla wants to say um, you know, she may, she may make a deal. Or Babies and dogs like to... Grab the microphone. Suck on and lick and well, eat the microphone. Well, she's at that age, six yeah. months, and yep. so she's putting everything in her mouth. That's good. And uh, so my deal is I like to enjoy, I like to uh, get out. I like to uh, listen to music. I like to uh, go swimming. I like to, uh, I like to eat. <laughs> I guess that's my deal. All right, that's a good deal. <laughs> Did you hear that our mountain caught fire the other day? What mountain is that? Oh, uh, Wintastic. Well, that's New Hampshire's mountain. Well, I'd say I was going to get into that, so that's good. So I'm glad to hear that you think it's New Hampshire's mountain. But we're the only ones who can see it. Can New Hampshire really appreciate their mountain without Probably coming not. to Brattleboro? Probably not. So whose I did, mountain I, is it truly? That's true. It, it's everybody's. It's everybody's. You're right. I just had to throw that in. Just to, trying to throw you off. All right. 
I'm anyway. Unf- I'm unflappable. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> I'm trying, though, Frederick. All right. In case he didn't know, I, I know Frederick. Yeah. So I'm trying. Um, his name's Freddy. Yeah, on this show, oh, Freddy. I'm going Sorry. by Freddy, because he's Timmy. Freddy. So it's the Timmy and Freddy show. Freddy. Freddy's dead. You know that Fishbone song? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know the Fishbone's back together, new album. I have heard that. But what about the crazy guy yeah. who got kidnapped and all the weird stuff? He's not happened? with him anymore. Did he get deprogrammed? I deprogrammed and living in, uh, I think, uh, Budapest. Ah, okay. He's tell my wife. He's doing. He's doing a whole funk soul revival in Budapest. It's, oh, wow. it's, it's the newest funk market. <laughs> Sweet. I'm telling you. Sweet. All right. And I don't know that. I'm just. I'm having a good time. There's a lot of reunions. A lot of band reunions. Oh my right gosh. Now. Can you believe Can it? Can you believe the Stooges? The Stooges, yeah. Uh, the Police. I, the Police. Uh, but you know what I read today? Dinosaur Jr. Dinosaur Jr. You know, what, you know what I read today? That the police, and you know, I just read this today, so I don't know if it's true, that to join their fan club, they charge people 100 bucks. So you can get better seats. Oh, is that the deal? Yeah. Okay. If you join their fan club, then you like get preference on buying the seats. But they're like $200. Exactly. The cheap ones. I don't know what I feel about all these reunions. Yeah. What's the deal? And you know, and you know, Bad Brains is back together. The original I Bad Brains. Did hear that? Lots of re- yeah. They got an album coming out. We're talking a lot of music. To answer your question about the fire, I didn't even know. Oh, okay. See, full circle. All right. Forget <laughs> the fire. Tell me more about Bad Brains. Bad Get Brains, uh, June, June seventh. I think the album comes out, and Adam, I think it's Yanch, MCA from Beastie Boys produced it. Oh wow. Yep. So I'm very excited about that. Auspicious I return to the scene. So that's my deal. Going back to the baby. My deal is I'm ready for bad brains. All right. I'm curious what it's going to be like. So anyway. Are you ready for summer? Man, I'm so ready for summer. I'll be at home with uh, the baby here, baby Isla, and my, take baby Isla out. and my wife, Deshae. And I'm just going to be at home. and it's gonna. Uh, we were just talking about that. It's going to be the summer of fun. Not that all our summers aren't fun, but this with is the baby, baby it changes a lot. Baby Isla. Hey, baby. <laughs> This is Isla. Hi. Maybe she'll say a few words for us. Yeah. Beautiful baby. Hi. She's reaching out. Reach out to the audience. She loves oh. babies. And cameras. And people. And microphones. Mm-hmm. But you can't suck on it if dogs have been sucking on it. <laughs> no. We haven't let a dog suck okay, on this good. one. Oh, okay. Dogs are very clean, I hear. That's true. I think it's a misconception. Except when they're yeah. licking things they shouldn't be. Well, like exactly. I said, they do drink out of mud puddles, but... And they eat dead yeah. squirrels. And sometimes they eat poop. Oh. Our dog does. Usually goose. I have a sad story. Can I tell you a squirrel story? I was in Northampton the go other day. For it. Yeah. Just go I went down for a show in Northampton, and uh, I was I always parked over by the hotel there, and I saw this squirrel contemplating its next Going big across. move. And I said to the squirrel, "Don't go out in traffic." And as soon as I said that, it went, went right out. out in traffic and got nailed. And you saw it. I did. And then I got to see it's the bad. the the I guess you'd say the devolution of this squirrel over the course of the evening. So oh right. I'll leave it at that. It was significantly flatter. Do you think he has some sort of connection to squirrels? Because uh, is it? Do you talk to squirrels? Uh, I don't usually. Only when I happen to see one. You know, it was like four. You know, it was like I was here and there's the curb and I said, "Don't go out in traffic," and it went right out in traffic. See, I think that Maybe your connection rebellious. with squirrels isn't very good no. because otherwise they would have listened to you. Maybe if you had started earlier. Or, or, or more of a disciplinarian. Well, you know, it was such a sudden thing, and I think if I had, I probably should have just stayed away from the squirrel. Let it, uh, let it make its own decision without my input. All right. All right. All right. Let's give me that tornado. I guess we're going to wrap it up. All right. Let's, let's establish some conclusion. No conclusion, okay. You're on the fly here, buddy. What are you going to do? I know. In camera editing. Conclusion. Uh, Say thank you. Okay. Well, there you, have, there you have it. It's been great talking to you, and uh, well, I wish you well. I hope you, I hope you do move back up into the area. I think that'd be fun. We love Brattleboro. We might do it. I spent, we'll keep, a, I've we'll spent a lot posted. of time. Okay, good. We'll keep you posted. I spent a lot of time looking at houses and in this area. Land and I'm sure you know waterfalls. Say bye. And unicorns. Waterfalls. That's another thing. I, I look forward to waterfalls and, and puddles and swim. Yes. They have a new album out. Waterfall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do. It's really good. Well, here we are. On Elliott Street, we find ourselves at Kipling's restaurant and pub. And it really is very pub-like, in my opinion. I have to say, I've, I've spent a fair amount of time in pubs in various locations, and this place is pretty pub-like. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, what's your deal? What's my deal? Um, I'm a bartender uh-huh. here. <laughs> uh-huh. Is that um, working out all right? It's working out great, yeah. You now the weather's uh, getting better. It's nice to... Uh, See everybody getting out and about. Right. So. Well, that's good. And they are getting out, aren't they? Yes, they are. That's good. You're in a good location. Yep. 
Great views from this window. Yeah. Now, you probably get a lot of characters at this place, right? You get your yep. fair share, maybe more than your fair share of characters. Uh, yeah. 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 For, and, and, and this, and we're talking in a town that's pretty much full of characters, as far as I'm concerned. Yes. Uh, when I first moved here, I felt like I was living in a Where's Waldo book. So. Yeah. Uh, a lot of, lot of characters there. I've heard other people say um, Northern Exposure, Twin Peaks. Um, name your favorite David Lynch movie, basically. I don't even know who David Lynch is. Not uh, really. Well, any. <laughs> But no, I, that was rhetorical, really, just sort of, you know, whatever. Yeah. We're in a David Lynch kind of town. Yeah. It's a film yeah. geek thing. Oh. Yeah, we don't know any of those, but. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you see the mountain the other day when it was burning? Yes, I did. Uh, yep. It's over your shoulder. Is we, that surprising? It was, and actually I luckily was not working, so I went to the marina and got to watch it there, and then yeah. we got the bright idea to go to the top of Memorial Park with some binoculars. Oh, that and must have been quite And I could actually see the little yellow firemen. Really? As well as the flames, it was pretty cool. Oh wow! See, I couldn't, I couldn't see any fire personnel until after dark, and then I could see the flashlights and the ATVs. And oh wow! Running back and forth. But Very cool. We did, uh, I did shoot some of it for about 45 minutes or so. So yeah. I got, got the flames and the trees going up and all this. Sort of and stuff. I heard uh, fire on the mountain. I think every bar I went to played. I think somebody was going around town. Uh, it was see, like I, it was the hit song. I do a radio show on Monday night, and I did not. Play Fire on the Mountain See? for that very reason. Oh. I, for the, I, I tried to avoid cliches. Yeah, well, good. But, uh, but, but I, I mean, it's a good song. But uh. Okay, so this is Timmy here, uh, finally in front of the camera. And I just wanted to say that yesterday we were here, you might want to get a shot just yeah. inside, you can see the screen. Um, we were here and you put on Discovery Channel HD. Yep. And we had a blast because we were playing some music on the, on the jukebox, some tunes and watching these incredible images on yeah. Discovery, Discovery Channel HD. Yeah. And uh, so you should try that sometime. It's Galapagos a lot of fun. has been a big hit here. Yeah. It's a, you know, a, lot of, a lot of fun creatures and things to look at in Galapagos. There were lizards. Uh, they were all naked. And oh, yeah. it was on prime time. So go figure. Here Just leaders. like that Cheech and Chong movie. <laughs> yeah. it, it, was that set in yeah, the Galapagos, one, yeah. the Cheech and Chong no, movie? No, they just all turn into lizards at the end. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. I must have missed ice that cream. one. They had some, they had some <laughs> ice cream. I think I got up to get uh, ice cream at that point in the movie. Ah, <laughs> nice dreams. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks. I'm not as good at this as uh, oh, Freddie you're, is. You're so. fine. You're fine. Hey, let's find out what's the what's the top song on the on the jukebox. What do you hear more than any other song when people are putting money in the? Oh well, you know, get back to the characters. It depends on who the players are in here. Um, top song. But top overall, song. Ah, uh, gosh. I, I couldn't even... You get quite a large range. Robert Earl Keen is a... Brian, Brian's a big fan of him, so we hear a lot of him on there. Okay. Brian's another bartender. Yes, Brian is another bartender. Great guy. Yeah. Great, great bartender. I think, you know, it's something about Kipling's that I really like is the mix of people. I mean, you already sort of mentioned that. Yeah. Um, and this is not a commercial endorsement of any, way, in any <laughs> means, but... No. Uh, but, you know, because we can't do that. Yeah, no, no. But I like Kipling's, this is my own personal opinion, because of the mix of people you get in. You get business people, you get SIT students watching soccer. Yep. You get uh, all characters. kinds of characters. Yes, yes we do. And, and everybody gets to mingle and have cocktails and everybody knows everything. So uh, that, that always leads to d interesting discussions here. So. Customer is always right. Yeah, well, no, but... Uh, <laughs> Do boo do boo do boo 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 do boo do boo boo. They're like, who's this weird guy? Do 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 do. You guys want to dance? Are you watering your flower? Are you watering your flower? All right. It keeps you cool on a hot day. Oh, they were happy until we showed up. Yeah, they're just like, what? There's a microphone. You want to say something in there? Can we say hello? Say hello. Hello. No. Hello. We're not that interesting. Hello. Oops. Babies love microphones. Uh -huh. Yes, you do all day. I got you to smile. It's a good start. That's a good start. You got a big smile. Pretty eyes and curly hair. Yeah, you really want to hold that microphone. I know. Microphones are very tempting. We just had, we just interviewed another baby down the street a little while ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink that. That's dirty, probably dirty water. <laughs> Don't drink that. Yeah. 
All right, so we've uh, somehow managed to already gather up about a half hour of, of footage here, and you know, Timmy's very adamant that we're going to do this in-camera editing thing, so we're going to see how that works. I'm a little skeptical, but uh, we're going to see how the show turns out. We want to hear from you. Let us know what you think of the show, and uh, we'll try and just you know, keep, keep upping our production values as we go along. So thanks a lot for tuning in, and uh, we found someone who's going to do a sort of uh, exit show, so we're going to say goodbye. W what's your name? Jeremy P. Cool. Jeremy P. Cool is going to take us out. So thanks for tuning in, and we will talk to you soon. All right. This is a song I wrote. I wrote it sort of like on the set of the Dr. Phil show at the gazebo and the commons, and it's about my relationship with Dr. Phil, and I didn't end up on the show, so... Don't know what you got till it's gone. Don't know what it is until it's gone. Dr. Phil, you got it going on. I got a few more songs if you want to pick the better one.